We have so many cases of bladder cancer, people with breathing problems, all sorts of compromised immune systems at this point in time. And um, yeah, the boiling it that we thought we were doing, you know, what we were told to make the water safer was actually putting our families more in danger. that right there we received in January of 2015 and it's a notice that basically says oh and by the way everything's cool except for the fact that for the past nine months your water has been contaminated with a cancer causing byproduct you're probably fine I mean probably but you might want to consult your physician before consuming the water and my first thought was um what does my doctor know about water treatment he's a doctor 2014, we call it the Dark Ages. Here's some of the different shades of the water that we had that they swore was safe. Perfectly fine. The first one is mine, the blue-green color. There's a friend of mine's. The, uh, the, the third one is also mine. It was pick a color. Is it gonna be yellow today? Is it gonna be green? What's it gonna smell like? So I realized it sunk in that, that moment as I'm holding this letter that we'd been lied to repeatedly because people had been on TV. There were bacterial outbreaks. They said, oh, just boil it, it'll be fine. Yeah, well, what happens, not only does it condense the lead and make the metals worse, these, uh, they're called total trihalomethanes, TTHMs. Uh, they're released into steam. And the problem with steam is that um, it's more dangerous than consumption. Um, it, you get two times the amount of exposure from a 10-minute shower than you do from drinking two liters of the exact same water because you're inhaling it and it's absorbing through your skin. We still get water bills to this day. We pay the highest rates in the United States for that water that you just saw right there and they have not given us um, any kind of uh, like uh, refunds back or anything like you would for a poison product. So I thought to myself, I'm a consumer, why should I have to pay for poison? We started, a, we had a protest and um, at the very beginning and the one scary thing, because you know, I was worried about protesting, I was like, I don't wanna you know, be out there with all these crazy people getting arrested because the media makes protesters look bad still. And, um, but I went and um, I realized that everyone standing on that street had the same symptoms, the bone pain, the muscle pain, the fatigue, uh, the hair loss, the, the confusion. You'll be standing in the shower and you won't know why, what you just did. How many times did I shampoo my hair? Did I shampoo my hair? I don't know what I just did. That's because we have high levels of chloroform coming through our showers, which we're told is safe even though they stopped using it as an anesthesia. Uh, long time ago. So as we're sitting here, we realize, okay, they're not gonna stop lying to us. We're listening to all these experts talk about, you gotta you know, consume this for 60, 70 years, we guess, you know, whatever. Um, so yeah, we showed them our discolored water, people brought in pictures, they dismissed us, they laughed us off, and they shut down this dome meeting. They didn't let people ask questions, they didn't let people talk. And so that right then is when my husband and I decided to form What Are You Fighting For? If nothing else, we're going to be a portal for accurate research and information. We needed to get the truth out to the public because we figured, okay, the state and the city, they're, they're not going to tell us. They're not going to tell us what the truth is, and I, I guess it's our job. It's on us to take care of each other. We know it's not just Flint, and we know that it's happening everywhere, which is another positive that's happened. People are now testing their water. They're questioning these people that are saying, you know, in Kansas City, they're saying, hey, that pink water you got safe. No, it's not. You know, there, there are people that are sending me discolored water from across the board, and um, they're saying the same thing. It stinks, it itches, it burns in the shower, but they're telling us it's safe. What do we do?